Alright, reference getters, welcome back. We're doing the trade battle again. Whatever, right? I was doing the um, last session, right? You know, whichever last two videos you see. I don't know what they're going to be titled yet. Yeah, we did those. But now, of course... Okay, what is this team? This team's actually very concerning. So, uh, oh god, this team is definitely concerning. Oh, I might have to reset. Because, like, how do I beat this? Okay, I think Stormy wins enough matchups to be my lead. I think I got Metagross just in case I need to explode and fight Gyarados. And, I don't know, Pikachu? Yeah, this one's a little rough. The last time, guys, I tried to talk about, like, my struggles with content creation on Twitch. I didn't really get to, like, finish off last time. Like, I was just giving a little bit of advice to, like, help others. But I suppose I never finished that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's what I was afraid of. Yeah, that's actually very concerning. I think Pikachu comes in here. Not like it lives, but... So, one thing I've been struggling with, right? No, I'm not going to talk about myself. Just advice for other people. So yeah, Pikachu's going to die here unless it gets greedy. But, like, you kind of want to stick to one thing, because else why, like, you're never going to, like, find people, right? That want to watch. But on the other hand, right? If you don't... Like, if you do other things, like, let's just look at my current channel, for instance, right? This one. Like, you'll see Sonic Adventure and Paper Mario, right? At least I'm trying to do other stuff, yeah? Which is something you should be considering doing. But the problem with that strategy is, people will sub for one thing and not want to watch anything else. Oh my lord! I don't win this, do I? I just don't win at all. Alright, that's awesome. The air in the Coliseum is tense and charged. I can't even really switch the star me, but I gotta try. The blue corner I don't win this one, boys. I'm gonna say that right now. But things like as a new content creator that you'd like wanna do, right? Is find some kind of balance. Oh my god, why? There's no way I even outspeed this, it's boosted. Yeah, that's an L. Alright. Well, I had a chance if I uh, didn't switch to Starmie there. Anyways, I keep getting off uh, off topic. Keep getting a little off topic. Um, where, where was I going? Um, but yeah, it's like, you gotta find some kind of balance, right? Because, like, if you don't, you're going to be stuck in that trap of where people only want to watch you for one type of content. And if you do anything else, you get, like, no fucking views unless it's, like, your buddies, right? Which is a bit of a problem because, you know, views are good. They help growth. Because, you know, views are important because they let you pop up in Twitch's recommended section. Anyone who's new and starting out will never fucking go there, which sucks. Which is why Twitch's discoverability is just so terrible. They just put, like, the biggest content creators there and, like, Oh, well, guess what? I guess no chance for me to do anything. Woo. Which is kind of lame, but, like, that's just how it is. That's one gripe people have always had. That's one gripe I have, but, like, to be fair, I'm a victim to that. I feel like even if I weren't, I'd still have an issue with it. But, eh. All right, a bunch of fighting types. That is not what I want to be seeing right now. Definitely not what I want to be observing. So how do I approach this? I'll lead Infernape because it gives me a good matchup against Lucario Heracross. It, yeah, yeah, that's it. Metagross. Not even Metagross. Starmie. The thing is, right? <laughs> I want to trade. Like, these are just so bad. You know what? I'll risk it for the biscuit, boys. But yeah, let's try it again. I don't know. It's like the biggest problems is all of that, right? 
you want to have decent emotes should you get affiliate right like emotes are a big thing i've just been neglecting all my own it's like i have some yes but like they're not great Ew. it's like i did them all myself which is like not good a lot of the ones i have made so like i know there's like a big quality lack uh lack there so it's like on one hand right I'm kind of like hindering myself by not even trying, which is again a big thing, guys. If you don't, at least try to make content like on Twitch or YouTube, right? You will be guaranteed to fail 100% of the time. But always, always, always try to just make buddies with people. That's one thing I'll always say. Going out and speaking with folks is very important. Does this even kill? No. Well, I might, I might lose again. Don't. Oh my God. This is so sketchy. But you always want to go out and meet people, right? Having Twitter and interacting with people through Twitter is always big. If it's like a content creator you enjoy. It's like, let's just be, say that, right? Like, hell, I'll even use myself in this example, right? Like, I speak with Mystic Umbreon a lot. Like, I sometimes get into, like, reply to some of his tweets. I mean, to be fair, he doesn't tweet much lately. But, I definitely say we're kind of, like, friends and whatnot. Like, I'm a moderator in some of his chat rooms, which is sick. But, where was I going to go with that? The big thing with that is, it's like, I, I started talking to the guy, right? It's like, I met a lot of people through him, but it's like, I can only do so much through other people. It's like, I gotta make what works for me, yeah? Like, that's honestly where, like, most of my, like, average viewers are. My buddies from Discord. How are you alive? Anyways, that's another loss. <laughs> I live? How? Well, I have to exclusively hope for uh, Lucario here. How did this thing live? See, like, if Lucario doesn't come out, I just lose here, right? So it's the only way I'm gonna Oko it with close combat, right? If not, well, I die and that's it. That's end of story. <laughs> so yeah, Metagross is probably the decision here. That was a bit of a throw. Everything was a bit of a throw here. Yo, crit, please. Yo, any critters real quick, Infernape? You can save this. That's a negative. Oh, boys, I tried. But, it's like, I don't know, man. Alright, that's a loss. Guys, I'm gonna have to reset my uh, game real quick so I can, like, do rank 8 again. So, until next time, uh... Yeah, I'm going to have to do a quick cut in the video right here. So yeah, that's fun. Dude, that game went terribly, though. This is why I need Alakazam, just so it does more than Starmie. But until next time. Anyways, where I left off was like, you always got to market yourself, right? That's one thing I will always say is a good thing. Got to use Twitter to market your existence. Because if you don't, well, um, you're throwing. This team's actually stupid problematic. I don't really have much answers for anything on it. These two are just dead weight on everything. Although I can grab Mence here and proc Intimidate twice by, like, switching to Pikachu or something. Cedra. Other than that, it's like, oh, I get one winning matchup against Mence. Great. <laughs> But like, what do I even have a chance with, right? I think Metagross is my best bet for backup. So it gives me a way to beat Gengar. I can blow up on basically anything. And I have a 1v1 win against Hauntra. So this is kind of my best bet, right? Anyways, you definitely want to talk to people on Twitter. Be active. Be funny. 
Gotta market yourself, man. Like, if there are any content creators that I can think of that have done a a wonderful job at doing anything, really, it would be a. Okay, actually, I don't even know if I can say uh, you know his name, right? So I've only really seen him on Twitter. So I'm not even gonna finish that. But let's just say there's a Pokemon content creator who does a really good job at marketing himself by being active on Twitter and making damn fine content on YouTube. It's one thing you want to do. No burn, go ahead. Still a chance. Still a chance. Man, why does Pikachu have to be so bad? It's like, Seedra is just screwing me over so hard. Well, Pikachu itself, right? Because Seedra has a chance to proc Poison Point. Okay, it's actually concerning. I'm gonna switch out. I'll take this pivot. If I can get this Gengar, though, I'll be set. Gotta keep it the whole time, though. But always, always, you always want to go out and meet people, guys. One thing I can say is, comment on other people's videos. That's always another way to help you. Like, sure, it doesn't seem like it will, but it definitely does. It's like, people are going to know your existence, right? They might want to get to know you better. So they click on your style and then... Oh my god, this guy makes content? It's one thing I wish I should do more often. Well, no, I should. Like, most of the content creators I watch are, like, very, very large verified streamers. Well, streamers. Content creators. So, like, on YouTube itself, it's like, I don't know. It's like, with smaller creators, that's definitely the way to go. The larger ones, it's like, yeah, it might be a bit of a problem to, like, do all that. Good hits. All right, let's kill. How? A band? Are you kidding me? Oh, that is so annoying. I want him. Come here, buddy. I want you. So I'm losing Metagross Explosion strats here, which is very bad. But hey, there's a chance. Okay, it actually died its turn. Good. Because it had a chance to proc that again. 10% chance to proc it every single turn. But... Can I beat this? I'm just too low on health. I might be faster, though. Yes. Yes, I am. Bye-bye. Anyways. That was a fun time. Yeah, do, do your funny thing, buddy. Do the funny thing that people know you from in this game. So anyways, I'm grabbing that Gengar. Nobody's gonna stop me. And yeah, that's that. At the end of the day, guys, I gotta say, like, you gotta talk to people. You gotta communicate. That's, like, the biggest thing as a content creator that I will ever tell you. Because that's how you make friends, right? That's the most important part. Doesn't he have Energy Ball, though? Why? This has Hypnosis. This was as bad as the one I had before. I'll save that story for another day, guys. As for now, I just want to talk about content creation. So, I'll do that in a different recording, where I'm going to talk about the back history of my uh, Battle Revolution Rank 8 career. Another Gengar, damn. Alright. So... Oh, Magnezone, that's a little concerning. And Swallow, ugh. Ugh. The problem is, like, I don't want Metagross. His Metagross doesn't do anything against Swellow, right? Well, it's, it's all it's good for Swellow. It gets trapped against Magnezone. I'm thinking Ments, Gengar, and Pikachu, but, like, I have no answer for Ma Magnezone. Magnezone. So, like, I have to have Infernape here. So, I guess I'm just not going to trade unless I upgrade for Gengar. From another Gengar. I think that's the call. But, I guess we can mention this now. But, like, eh. Always try to communicate, guys. It's always one of the best things you can do. If you're a streamer, don't go around in other chats telling people that you are. That's, like, one of the worst things you can do. Because then people will avidly not go help you. 
unwavering view of Poketopia at night. So then they're like, oh, well, this guy's doo doo. They self promo everywhere. Then you get banned from other chats, so it's like, does that help you? Not really. At the end of the day, it's one of the worst decisions you can make. I'll tell you that right now. Nine, like, 19 times out of 20, you get banned. Alright, now this thing dies. Okay, good lead. Good start. Really hoping for not Magnazone. If so, I'm in for a huge world of hurt. Alright, now what? Gengar? Fuck off! Why? Alright, I gotta get a defense drop here. That's why I might be screwed. Like, buddy, you are a ghost type trainer. Why do you have a Magnazone? I gotta let men die here. I gotta fish for this defense drop, else my Infernape's in problem. In a world of hurt, world of trouble. Please drop the defense game. Damn it. I'm fucked. But yeah. Like, Twitter is always good. Like, always have that stuff in your Twitter bios, right? But it's always good to have in mind. Alright, I gotta check what's stronger right now. I'm pretty sure it's Flare Blitz. No, they're the same. Alright. Well, Flare Blitz gives me better chances of living. I think I'll take that. Although I could Stealth Rock and Flare Blitz, right? Afterwards, if I don't get crit. Yikes, man. That's a great strategy. Hold on. Okay, it actually died. Good. But yeah, I'd just say marketing is easily the biggest, most important part of your channel. Like, that's one thing I've always done a poor job of. It's like, I know what to do, but I just do the exact opposite all the time. Okay, so this dust pops is a little annoying. I should thrive at least one hit, though. Hoping I get knocked into blaze so I can just take the rest of this thing's health. So, you know, blaze will definitely just oko its whole health bar. Don't do anything dumb. Cool. It dies. But, like, what else can I think of that's, like, beneficial, right? I'd say your branding's important, right? Because, like, let's take my own username, for instance, right? Like, one thing bad about it is there's just random numbers at the end, right? Like, yeah, sure, Halo reference, but, like, that doesn't matter. Nobody cares about the reference, man. They, they never will. Do you have a bunch of random numbers at the end that never helps you? Although, again, as long as you make good content, you can just get around it. It's always pref preferable that you don't have that. One thing I would uh, want to see other people do is not have TTV at the end of their Twitch username. Although that is beneficial for your YouTube branding, if you do have that.